What is up? Apex Reaper here. Welcome to Pillars of Eternity. Hope you guys are having a great day. This is an isometric RPG. I can't wait to get started in. Look, oh, there was an update. All right, that's actually, that was yesterday. Wow. This game still get love. It's been a while since this game came out too. I'm glad. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I think I got all the audio options correct. We'll find out as we go along as usual. Oh, so there's a lot. So, new game settings. So, expert mode disables a number of helper features in this game. Players who want to rely on their facilities and intuition while playing the game should play on expert mode. This option is selected when you start a new game. It cannot be enabled in-game, and if disabled, it cannot be re-enabled. Normal difficulty requires strategy and efficiency, but forgives a few mistakes in combat. It is not recommended for newcomers to a real-time party-based RPGs. Easy difficulty requires minimal micromanagement. Easily forgives mistakes in combat. It is strongly recommended for those who are new or recently returning to real-time. Okay. Story time with this. Story time mode is for players who are interested in exploration and story development and the challenges, then the challenges of combat. While story mode is active, the enemy composition of battles is the same as normal difficulty, but the game mechanics are biased in the player's favor. Ooh. Additionally, the party can carry an unlimited number of campus supplies. I think, I normally I like to hit normal, give it all I got. Do I believe in myself that much? You know, Real-time party, real party-based RPGs, I'm thinking when I hear that, I think of Neverwinter Nights. And I love Neverwinter Nights. I played that back in freaking like junior high, high school era. Strongly recommended for those who are returning, new or ret recently returning to real-time party-based RPGs. You know what? It sounds like when I heard it say on expert mode, it cannot be enabled in-game, and if disabled, cannot be re-enabled in that game. That's Trial of Iron. Trial of Iron mode, only one save file is kept for the entire playthrough. If the player is killed, the file is deleted and must start again. This option cannot be changed in-game. <laughs> What's that? Enemies receive a bonus to most stats and encounters have many more enemies. Warning, this option cannot be changed in game. Oh, how about we, okay, so it looks like we could change the settings. So I'm gonna go easy for now and then get back into the groove of things. And once I'm in the groove of things, I'm gonna switch it up to normal. So we'll go easy, except, by the way, that background, freaking awesome. Obsidian Entertainment presents. There are voiceover in this game too, so that's gonna be cool. Or voices, I should say. Pillars of Eternity. Offensive area effect spells may disable two targeting circles. The inner circle will affect all targets within. The outer circle will only affect enemies, leaving your allies untouched. Oh, that's kind of good to know. I'm going to forget that, but that's kind of good to know. The inner circle will affect all targets within. The outer circle will only affect enemies. Okay, so targeting. Okay, yeah. All right. So there's friendly fire. That's what you're saying. That's good to know. That there's friendly fire. Okay, can you give me a different tooltip, or am I going to have to make a cut for the loading screen? Five wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night. Their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Oh no, we got sick. I don't even know what our character is like. We didn't even get to pick our character, man. Done.
That's kind of cool. I kind of hope it's not really a customizable character type thing where we get a set character we're supposed to play with. Never mind. We create a character. Male or female? Female. A woman role in Ori is largely dependent on where she is from. In Adari, I don't know how to pronounce that, Empire, Valaya Republicans in the Drywood, women occupy many domestic, educational, and organizational roles. They are primarily hunters, really cool, soldiers, and leaders of the tribes of Nashquik. In Ur Glen's faith, in Ixmil, women and men are more fluid social roles. In all societies, there are exceptions to the rule, and women can be found in a wide variety of stations and professions. Yeah, we'll be a male. I mean, a female, sorry. Female. Human. So I'm not going to read what all these things are. I'm just going to look at these. So you get plus one to resolve. Resolve reflects a character's internal drive, determination, fearlessness, and emotional intensity they can protect others. Okay. And might, physical and spiritual strength, brute force, as well as playability. I don't even know what I want to be. Can we go to, like, class first? Can I choose my class first? Please? Can I go class first? No? I gotta choose this first? Okay. What's Azuma? <gasps> cool! Plus two to might, so you're like a uh, straight up attack attacky. A dwarf! Hey, dwarf! Might, dexterity, constitution. Elves. Oh, elves. Elves are awesome. Dexterity and precision. Although I think I might be an archer. So, probably elf. Alarin, what's this? A dwarf? A dwarf? Is this dwarf and an elf mix? Doesn't say. Godlike. Oh, that is awesome. Hopefully, we get a godlike on our team. Oh, that is cool. But no, I want to be an elf. Yeah. So we'll be an elf. Wood elf or pale elf? Ooh, is there a difference? Yes, right here. Distinct advantage against any enemy that is more than four meters away. Yep, that's ranger right there. Wood elves gain bonus to accuracy, deflection, and reflex. Pale elf? Oh, they look so cool. Can we zoom in? Nope. Elemental, elemental endurance. All pale elves have redu increased burn and freeze damage reductions. Man, they look really freaking cool. But I gotta go wood up. I want to be an archer. Ooh, so there's barbarian. Is this gonna change this? Yep. I wanted to see. That's cool. Dual wielding freaking weapons. The outfit looks great too. Chanter. Whoa. You got big thing, Majiggy. Cypher. That's cool. Druid. Oh, I wasn't expecting a Jew with a freaking scimitar and a shield. Vita. Monk. Staff. Oh, barehanded. Kind of cool. Paladon. Priest. Rogue. Although that would be my second class. Wizard. Oh, cool. You get a spell book. That's awesome. Ranger. That's what I want. Animal companion. Oh, yep. Uh, definitely into this one. All rangers share a strong bond with an animal companion. The companions fight at the ranger's command and is extremely valuable for its ability to run interference. Animal companions don't do much damage, but they have high damage reduction. Ooh, the link between the ranger and companion is powerful. So we get plus one to survive, stealth and plus two to survival. That's awesome. So we're going to get a pet that is supposed to be like keep them away from us while we do damage to them so they'll tank it for us while we kick butt yep ranger Ooh, what do i get i get to pick one we get wound and shot no okay what's this do as he or she would with flee and prey the hunter aims for a spot that will slow the target's enemy progress hobbling the target and inflicting raw damage over time two per encounter speeds average blah 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 we can hobble people. That's interesting. Man, I am so into this game. Marked prey. Designated a single target as prey. Given the ranger and animal companion a damage bonus against that target. One per encounter. Speed average. Bow marked for 30 seconds. I don't know. Do we want a hunter's market? 
But no, that's only for Ranger and Animal Companion. I feel wounding shots gonna help with other people in the party because I'm gonna hobble people, slow them down, then I can annihilate them. We're gonna do wounding shot. <gasps> look, oh, I already know I'm picking the wolf, but we're gonna look at him. Can we actually see him? No. Do they have actually anything else? Yes, we do. Let me just read these real quick. Antelope companions are naturally superior defense, deflection, fortitude, reflex, and will. Wait, what? If a ranger or animal companions are knocked down, knocked unconscious, the partner suffers from bonded grief. Aww. That's just sad. Passive, speed, average. Burr. Has unusually high damage reduction, but we don't need a trinket, you know? <laughs> Sorry. I do. Average. So, this is what I'm looking at a boar inflicts more damage when they are below 50% endurance. Need average. Ooh, lion companions have the ability to terrify enemies with a powerful roar. Stag can activate a melee attack that does damage to all enemies in a small area. Ooh, that's interesting. Speed average. Wolf. Ooh, wolf animals companions do high damage and can perform it can more easily avoid disengage attacks. It goes right in for the kill, disengages, gets out real fast, and goes right back in. I love it. We definitely gotta pick a wolf. It was either the wolf or the bear, because the bear, like high endurance, it's kind of powerful, but I just love wolves so much. Animal companion name. My wolf? I mean, I just want to name it Max. Winter. That's the name of our wolf, Winter. Oh, our tributes. So, Dex, O oh, Precision. Characters, senses, as well as their instinctive ability to pick up details. Highly recommended for a ranger. Does this gain, like, it contributes to accuracy and reflex defense. So we should probably put some points into this. And all my time's going to go to this. Which is fine to me. I mean, I'm okay with that. We'll just do that. Dexterity, is this increase? Or is might pure damage? Or is this D&D like &D style? It affects the character's action speed in all attacks. Recommended for rangers. We're just going to read these real fast. Both damage and healing as well as fortitude defense. Oh, we definitely need this. If this is uh, damage, we got to do damage. Put that to 16. Dex did what? Action speed and reflex. We'll bring that up a couple. What does intelligence do? Recommended for rangers. Why? To will defense and influences duration of effect area of effect for all abilities and talents. One. More precision. That way I never miss. Well, I probably miss, but you know. Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Oh, what's this? Culture? I think I'm just going to focus on the bonus and then we'll read what it is at the end. So this is plus one to resolve. Did that change? Oh, that's changed our outfit too. That might change my mind too. Dexterity plus one. Resolve plus one. Intelligence plus one. Constitution plus one. Might plus one. Precision plus one. I think I'm going to do might. Because the outfit looks freaking amazing. And it's called the Living Lands. The Living Lands is the mountainous region of a large northern island renowned for its diversity of plant and animal life. Its weather is unpredictable and its ecosystem vary dramatically from, vary dramatically from valley to valley. The Living Lands are home to an assortment of races in, ver in a variety of colonial independent settlements yep living lands what's next background so they'll give us survival plus two lore and survival plus one athletics and mechanics oh for traps that's cool merchant stealth and mechanics for a drifter which we might be a hunter is stealth and survival survival do 
Damage reduction. Reduce health multiplier. Receive health. Healing multiplier, my bad. Bonus movement. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Athletics and lore. What would lore give me? Hang on. Lore represents a character's accumulated mis miscellaneous knowledge and trivia. Often, it wouldn't just... Lore is used to activate scrolls. Higher lore values allow the character to use higher level scrolls. Okay, that's kind of good to know. But I mean, a drifter gives me stealth and some stuff to use traps. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'm just saying, being a drifter, you never quite fit in no matter where you go. Each new town is just a place to rest briefly before moving on to the next. You are more comfortable on the road traveling the world. Yeah, I'm going to go with Drifter. He's a Drifter. Oh, appearance time. Primary color, brick. Secondary color, dark red. Oh, brighter red. Brighter red? Brightest red? No, this red. Skin. Ooh, this one. Hair. We give her a nice... Ooh, we can't give her red hair. If we give her red hair, this has got to go green. That looks pretty good. That looks good too. Pink. If we give her red hair, that's what we gotta do. Definitely. Other than that, I'd give her black hair. I like the red hair. We'll give her red hair. Uh, her head? I can't zoom in. We'll go with three. Hair? I like the ponytail. That's a different ponytail. I'm just going through them kind of fast. Mohawk. Hmm, the hair on the face? Nah. Oh, wait. Did I have hair in the face before? I think I did. Yeah, I did. We'll do the hair in the face. Because I don't really like that other ponytail. I want to have a ponytail. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, portrait. Holy portraits. That's a cool portrait. Well, we definitely don't want to use any of these. They're not elves. So I'm gonna, I know I'm going through them kind of fast, but it's just saves some time. These are males, so let's get through these. Oh, that's cool. But I'm bum, bum. oh back to where we were. That's the one we had, default. Kinda wanna go with that. We're going with that. Uh next. Oh, female voices. How do you I'm here. Oh. Charge! To whispers and shadows. Eh? I've got this. <laughs> Keeping an eye out. I'm here. I'm flattered. Yeah! Steady does it. Huh? Follow me. Show him how it's done! I'll take a peek. Hey there. I'll lead the way. You'd better run! I like smooth. They'll never know I'm here. We're smooth. We're a drifter. Enter name. Apex Reaper. I can type. No two R's, one R. There. Done. Let's start the game. 20 minutes into the freaking video and we're just starting. New quest, a Gilded Veil. Vale. Journey to G Gilded Veil. Vale. Oh, whoa, okay. The caravan master finishes addressing the group. His busy red mustache and swagging and jowls quivering. 
as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods towards a forward. He nods forward towards, not that's not, that's not an F, that's a T, not an F, towards a lumen black mass on the hillside. Whole area is crawling with hut dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle round here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards, unless you don't drink water, of course, which case you'll be dead in a day. So, we gotta pee it out or poop it out? There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. You just said not to drink water, now we're making tea? You are weird. By the way, size of a fingernail? Which one? I must know. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. All right. Where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here. Kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Okay. What are those runes? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. I just said, you know, depending on what you pick, there's going to be different dialogue options. I'm not interested in who built the runes. Is it dangerous here? Well, that's pretty obvious. What are these huge rocks coming up from the ground? That's actually a good question. I was wondering if these things were here. What are those? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. That's interesting. So it's called Audra. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses oh. its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. Huh. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Right. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. Okay. I'll go see about those berries. Hold on. What? Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead. I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the tra travelers, resting his eyes at length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman who has spent the journey's nights sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. You're not going to say it. It's in quotes. You say it. She needs to find some spring berries. Watch that she doesn't drop dead. No promises. Hi, how you doing? What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. <laughs> Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. He cast a long side glance at her. Oh, here, Siri said that. Never mind. Okay. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a bewick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. What's a bewick? I want to know what a bewick is. But you're, you know, you're saying this is not going to be too far from the path. You shouldn't have to stray too far. But you're like, okay, by the way, take someone, gather up a lot of crap, and oh, by the way, there's this big thing up there that's probably going to kill you. Really, dude? Come on now. So, who do I got to go to? Hudan. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. All right. 
Welcome to Pillars of Eternity. If this is your first time, visit the world that we are. You may want to watch these windows to become familiar with the tooltips. Gotcha. Your party always consists of characters in up to five additional companions or adventures. While the caravan is camped outside of this place, Odama has assigned Kostia to help you. Kostia is a fighter, a class that excels in close quarters defense, using her abilities to complement her own. Use her abilities to complement your own. Okay. Oh my god. Just select multiple, click and drag. Yep. Look anywhere on the screen. Where the cursors is a circle of four wedges. All select a path will party. Yep. Mm -hmm. All select a path will party. You know what I'm saying. If you see a red circle with a slash through it, you cannot walk to that part of the map. Okay, when multiple are selected, the action bar is hidden. You see individual characters select only that character. So... Yeah? Yeah? I thought I was supposed to see someone. What's this? I see where you're going with that. Locked. Mechanics 1 require lockpicks 1. So I don't have one. I don't have Consider a lockpick. Consider it done. Yeah, I don't have a lockpick. Alright, let's move over here. Can I WASD the camera? I cannot. I can push buttons and do this. Can I? I can arrow key the camera. Am I supposed to like? I thought I was supposed to talk to Hudon. Where's Hudon? I'm not seeing anybody by that name. All you're saying, you guys are just caravanners. Oh, who are you? Who done? Go. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. Most people you encounter in the world are neutral or friendly. You can interact with them by clicking on their selection circle. Many characters will simply greet you and go on their way, but others will have larger conversation to explore. The merchant, Hudan, has a conversation at Ota's store with equipment for sale. This fast mode thing. Can I slow that down? Is there like a neutral mode? What did I do? Oh, that's pause. Fast mode. Did you stop? I'm pushing buttons. Scout mode is used both for stealth and finding hidden objects like traps and secret containers. While scouting your character selection circles will start to fill with yellow when a character is starting to de detect them. Once a the circle is filled yellow, the character is move to investigate while the circle fills the red. Wow, Jesus Christ, there's a car. Look, it's up here. A character's ability to find hidden objects is based on that crap. Moving towards a character accelerates how quickly they will detect you. If you actually touch the selected selection circle of a character with your own, you will immediately be detected. Well, stop pausing the. No, get off of that. What's slow mode? That's what? Ah, that's kind of cool. All right, hey. You see a man wearing simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the steam of his tunic. <gasps> Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. All right. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale if you'd like to take a look. Let's see what you got. Oh, stores allow you to trade for copper pieces, CP, or items in your store's inventory. Merchants buy items for you a greatly reduced price. If you sell something, you may see it appear in the store's inventory with, with a much higher cost. All right, what do you got? I mean, what do I need? What do I have? Minor regeneration, 150, cool. I only have 100. No, I ain't buying nothing from you. I must be equipped. How do I check that? By pushing that button. Okay, so you say you have a bow. What you do? Do I have to have arrows? That thing? Did you have arrows? Something else you need? Rod. Nope. No arrow. Ooh. Take a lockpick. Did I buy one? I think I did. A cancel. Trade. We got one. I can't WSD it. 
This calls for a subtle touch. Okay, lock pick requires one. Party lock picks one. Do you want to pick the lock? Yes. Give me a real challenge. I did it. What did we get? We got a potion of minor endurance. Let's take all button. That's take. All. Sweet. We did it because we're the best. Around. Well, man. Oh wow, we can zoom in that much. Kind of cool. Well, I have to say. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Unfortunately, you know, character creation took quite a bit. Learning the mechanics of the game. Well, actually, we're still learning the mechanics of the game. That whole beginning bit took a little bit. But hey, we got our character now. For the next episode, things are going to be great. And from, we'll see the combat, hopefully. Hopefully we see combat. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support. If you're new and you haven't, subscribe for more content. Feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching.